I don't know if you guys have ever seen this brand. Me personally, I've never actually seen this brand. Right. After doing a little research, they make dragon boat paddles, sea kayaking paddles, sup paddles. They have a wide variety of paddles and they've been in business since 2007. So they, they're no new company, but they are 100% out of China. And there's some things going on on this paddle as soon as I seen it that I couldn't wait to show you guys. So stick around because I think you're gonna like this one. Okay, first off, you can see it comes in a nice bag and I gotta give Z and J credit on this bag. This is actually a really nice bag, almost better than the G Power bag. And this bag is actually, you can get this bag for 20 bucks on Amazon. That actually shocked me that they sell this bag by itself. Cause if you got a two part paddle, you might wanna look at one of these bags. It actually has a coating right there that helps protect it. And it's very nice and padding. That's like a rip stop. Kind of feels like a very high denier tarp in a way, if you look at that. But yeah, let's look at the meat and potatoes of this thing. Here we go. I'm gonna show you one paddle at a one blade at a time here. As Soon as I seen it, I could tell you, I was like, well, it feels a lot like a Warner paddle. And even the construction kind of looks like a hybrid powerhouse meets a player type paddle with a slight down tilt on the blade. If you can see that blade shape and it has a slight down tilt to it. But this paddle is very unique in its own way because there is something going on real crazy right here. And I want you guys to look at this. Do you recognize what that is? That fitting is a knockoff of you know who over here, Letman. Look at these two fittings. This was interesting. As soon as I seen it, it is not the same fitting. These come from different suppliers. They have actually reverse engineered Letman's fitting, which is not a bad thing because I don't think it's patented anyway. Maybe it is patented. Somebody can leave, um, leave a comment if this fitting is patent because you guys see that. And I will put it together here, but obviously you can see the, the Letman paddle is a carbon Kevlar mix and the bend and everything is, is very different. To me, this feels like Warner's neutral bend. That feels a lot like a Warner bend right there. You can see how it goes down. So my theory is they reverse engineered Warner's blade and Warner's shaft because this shaft has a nice oval in it. It is a very good oval feeling. And the paddle itself, I used the paddle briefly. At the end of this video, I will go over my on water of using it because I used it and I, I actually liked the paddle. I, I hate to admit that I liked it. The actual construction of this is like a four ply carbon layup with a foam in the middle. It's thicker right here at the, the end. So whoever engineered this paddle did a really good job on it. Some of the pictures I've seen, they actually had a stupid drip ring, which if that doesn't scream wreck boat to have a drip ring, and it's a 200 centimeter. And by the way, these are non-adjustable. They don't recommend that you adjust this paddle. It is designed to just be put together like that and not be adjusted. So whatever size you get is exactly the size you're gonna get. And it looks like they're available from a 196 to a 202. So you would be able to order whatever size you want there. But looking at it, the construction is not bad at all. I am a little curious about what's going on right here. It seems like some sort of like hardened, like sealant tape. I used this, it didn't leak, it didn't have water in it. That don't mean it will, but I'm just saying when I used it, it seemed to work just fine. And let's do a look over of this fitting. So actually what I wanna do, I wanna dig a, that's actually a pretty, you hear that sound? That's actually a pretty good, a pretty good fitting on that. I wanna do a deep dive into this fitting. So let's check this fitting now. Make sure it's zeroed out. It looks like 46.2 millimeters on the Letman. Same spot on the Z and J. That feels about right. 47.1, so it is wider. Now these look the same. These little levers right here look actually the same. And they put their own logo on it, so that feels like it's laser etched in there, yeah. 
they have their own logo on this and they've got the left and right hand settings on each side and the gap looks like it's a smaller gap there yeah this is a larger gap right here so the screws is even different they're using more like a phillips head screw they they use some sort of oh look at the backs these two little set screws right here letman doesn't do that so maybe they seen something on how they could like hold that in place better with these two set screws and letman's fitting doesn't have that and it looks like that's a shorter that's a shorter area right here that comes down and then looking at the z and j a lot of things are made in china and it could be it could be done very well if quality is followed and they do the right protocols as far as like manufacturing so that's not a bad thing i'm just saying that I don't know about a warranty or anything, but I did see that these are sold on Amazon because Amazon does have its own return policy that you could go through instead of dealing with that. So that's very interesting. They must be warehousing them somewhere here in the United States. But overall, just to give you like a rundown of it, they're available from 196 centimeters to 202 centimeters. It comes with this bag and this is the bent shaft, what they're calling a crank. This is not actually a crank. This is what I would consider a neutral bin, a natural bin. I would not say that's a crankshaft. So if the guys are at Z and J, that's a crankshaft. You can see the difference in the paddle, the, the bins there. That's what I would consider a crank, and that's more like a, a, a bent, just a true bent shaft. And it comes in two sizes of blade. There's a small and a large. And the small is 720 centimeters as far as surface area and the large is 728 centimeters of surface areas. And I've just, I don't know this, I just looked all this up for you guys, so I did the research so you don't have to. This is where it's shocking. A full on bent shaft in this model comes in at $300 on Amazon, which is pretty damn cheap for a full on carbon blade. And you could probably even get on their website, it goes even cheaper, but I could tell you on their website, you'd have to pay shipping, so that could go that could cost you an arm and a leg. So yeah, this is one of these things where I've actually seen worse out there and I've seen a lot better. So this is fall somewhere in what I would, I know paddles very well, and I would put this as far as like a mid-grade paddle. I think they did a good job on construction of it. It feels good. Would I recommend the, the Z and J Sport Paddle? I have no idea personally. If anybody out there has used one of these paddles in any extended amount of time, leave in the comments below because I'd like to hear what you guys have to say on this paddle. I don't think it'll be a bad buy if you bought one and you just wanted a good kind of cheap carbon paddle. I'll go ahead and I'll click over to where I did a little bit of on water. Very light. Yeah, this is really light. It looks good. Where did you get these? Uh, so I ordered them in bulk in China during COVID because Warner. Uh, How many did you order? Huh? I ordered eight. You have eight of these? Yeah. Really? So I ordered them. In What's this model called? Um, it's called. It, there's no model. It's a white water large blade. White water large blade, yeah. and it's Z, ZJ Sport. Yep. ZJPaddles.com. I would totally use this as a playboat paddle. Yeah. I think this would be a great playboat paddle. I mean, that's all carbon, just stacked carbon. Well, there you go. Z and J Sport paddle. This doesn't have a name, it's just called paddle. So yeah, you guys leave in the comments below if you have any experience with these paddles because um, from someone that's used paddles that are $20, to $700. I know my paddles and I can tell you this is not that bad of a paddle. So yeah, and I'll leave links below where you might, um, if you wanna pick one of these up, you do it at your own risk. This is not my recommendation because I've only used one a couple of times, but in that two times I used it, I thought it was pretty good. So yeah, thanks a lot everybody. Thanks for watching and I will um, catch you guys next time. Hopefully not breaking your Z and J sport. Ooh.